Let's watch this video. So for example, Ghana government, Atai is holding, I get the contract. I subcontracted to you. $100 million contract. Ghana government pays me $100 million. I give it to you and you say it's $80 million. The contract is inflated $20 million above its real cost. If I have an agreement with that, then you get the same. So now we probably find them. Matthias banks the 15 million for the corrupt politicians until they need it. It's like all of it at the And wherever they want it. It's tell me I said. That's how I do it. That is the way in which corruption is facilitated to create the corrupt funds, the corrupt commission is exactly how it's described that overpay it and create an extra bunch of money that can be used to pay politicians. The most important thing for me in Africa is people trust me. All the politicians trust that whatever money I have on theirs is safe. That's the biggest capital that I have. They trust me because they know that I'm paying them. That's incredible footage. How does Zira has made a video in our country? There's an expose. And people are saying they're happy it's not announced who did this expose because now the government or the current government wouldn't be saying that oh he's on NDC's payroll he's on CPP's payroll and all those kind of things or he's trying to make us that he's trying to do this to us and all those kind. this is an expose done by Al Jazeera one of the biggest news institution in the world has done an expose on Ghana and the sad part is that I'm not sure they'll come out and say anything because they don't respect us they have no value for us like nothing and this is the kind of country we are in yeah the t-shirts back among neto you vote 50 Ghana neto you vote basically they are trying to tell us that there's a serious corruption going on and there's this guy in this video that has been taken. So let's say he takes a hundred million dollar contract. Now he subcontracts this contract. When we say subcontract, it's like he gives the contract to another person as 80 million. So when he takes the contract 100, he gives to another person as 80. Now there's 200 million, hey, 20 million. Now there's 20 million. Now he cuts a percentage with the government again. Now he gives the government 50 million. Now he takes five million for basically bringing somebody who knows how to do the job and paying the corrupt politicians fifteen million out of the hundred million. Now because of money laundry and all those kind of criminal cases in the country, they give this whole twenty million to Matthias. Now Matthias takes this money to Dubai and puts it in a bank there. And this is not just Ghana, all over Africa. And it is, it is so surreal that we are able to pay somebody $5 million just because we trust the person. So now they give all this money to this person. Now the person puts this money, $20 million. Imagine what $20 million could do in our country. See our roads, see our schools. Tell it, it be like my heart have the cup. Now, upon all this money, we give it to this person, places in a bank in Dubai. Now, Dubai are able to work with this amount of money in their country. Now, they'll be telling us, oh, visit Dubai. Dubai has a very nice country and all this country. No, it is our money that is need to build. Now, our country is suffering. Our country is dying. I think it's even dead. And you are giving this huge amount of money for people who have basically not done anything. The perfect way to describe politicians are um, go to school, graduate, be a politician. And you being a politician means be a thief with a degree or a doctorate or whatever. Our country is dead. I know if, if this video makes you agree with me, 
and you like this video kindly like and subscribe for more thank you here's why